that job in Tully Pally, Pally where the bloke Spencer just popped out a baby. So congratulations, this is you. Good champion yourself. Good, thank you, mate. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, congratulations, by the way. Thank you, man. It's <laughs> all good? Yeah, it's just about 75 centimetres that way. Yeah, thank uh, you very much. Alright, this bloke here, yep. it's called an Eastern Small Load. Obviously nocturnal. They don't go a whole lot bigger than what he is now. Do you want me to torch off? Alright. No, it's all good, either way. Um, so Eastern Small Load, isn't yep, it? Yep, he cruises around at the night time, sticking his nose in every crack, looking for any skinks or geckos. Oh. Knocks them off. Really? If you were to walk out with your safety boots on and you step on him or no boots and he bites you, you're in a bit of trouble. He's a fairly highly venomous snake. Oh, really? Yeah, it usually takes a fair bit to actually you know, for the, get them to bite, but if you were to tread on one, you'd be in trouble. That's or if the dogs cool. grab it or something like that. Or Is that the normal size they get to? I think it's a double that, maybe. Oh, wow. Hey, Fanny. You can see his head there. And people often mistaken them for red belly black because they've got a gunmetal grey yeah. body and a pink belly. Okay. Whereas the red belly black says so he's got a jet black body and a, a blood red belly. Yes, yes, yes. And these guys are more powerful with their venom than the red belly black. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. And yeah. the bad news is they're a communal snake. Not that they hang around like fish in schools or groups or anything, but, yeah. but usually these will, you'll find them where there's rocks yes. and um, rock retaining walls or something. Yes. And if there's one.